Hi everyone, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's egg coffee time. Last month we were in Vietnam. I must have had egg coffee every second day while I was there and I promised you while I was there that I would show you how to make it. So today I'm gonna make egg coffee. Not all of you will have the little Vietnamese coffee makers. So at the end of this video, I'll give you some tips how you could make this at home, maybe if you haven't got all the equipment. But for now, we're gonna make it Vietnamese style. So come on, let's get going. Now I've got a little glass cup so you can see what's going on. It'll be a bit of fun. We have these little Vietnamese coffee brewers here. And although this is an Illy's pot, I actually managed to smuggle some Vietnamese coffee out from Vietnam. So what we're going to do at first, into our little coffee pot, we're going to put three heaped teaspoons of this dark Vietnamese coffee. Now it is a dark roast. Maybe a little bit extra there as well. It is a dark roast. So it gives quite a bitter coffee flavor. Give that a, a little shake to level it out. Most of the coffee makers come with a little clamp that you can pop on there. This one twists on. I'm gonna give it a little turn around just to compact, not firmly, just sort of gently compact the coffee down. Now, because this is a fairly slow filter, I wanna take some hot kettle water and just warm through my cup. So it's uh, not introducing the coffee into a cold cup. Let it sit in the cup for a moment or so and then discard the water. Now we take our little coffee filter and pop it on top of the cup like so. And one of the secrets of Vietnamese coffee is not to filter it through straight away. To take a little bit of hot water, just pop it in there and that water will absorb into the coffee granules. And then we just pop the cover on there and we're gonna leave that for about two minutes. It'll let the granules swell up and then the coffee will filter through a lot slower and you'll get more intense flavor. The coffee granules have swollen up beautifully. I'm taking my hot water again from the kettle, but this time I'm going to pour it up almost two thirds of the way up the filter. I'm gonna pop the lid on again, and you can see the coffee is going to drip through into the glass below. Now, whilst that is dripping, we want to take two eggs, just crack them open. And on this side over here, I'm going to pop the egg whites, and I'm gonna save my egg yolks and pop them into a separate bowl. So now we've got two egg yolks in this bowl. We can discard the white, save it for some other cooking project. Here I have some sweetened condensed milk. Now we want to take two teaspoons of sweet condensed milk. It's beautiful and thick and full of sugar. Add it in with our egg yolks. The next thing we're going to do is whisk this together. So we're going to whisk the egg yolks and the sweet condensed milk. Now you can do it by hand, or if you happen to have, and I'm lucky I do have uh, a little electric blender with me, I'm just going to whisk this up. And you'll notice that as you whisk it, the color will change from this rich yellow to a slightly lighter color. So you can see after a couple of minutes, it starts to lighten and really thicken and get lots of air into it. Now in the time it's taken me to do that, the coffee has actually dripped through into the bottom here. So I'm just gonna take this, take this lid off, pop my coffee filter down. Now rather than pour this straight on top of the coffee, I'm just using a spatula, you could use a teaspoon. I'm gonna pour it onto the side of the spatula and let the egg foam settle on top of the coffee. Now there you have a beautiful Vietnamese egg coffee. Now, I like it a little bit different than the way I had it served in Vietnam. I'm not a big fan of black coffee. Uh, some people put some sweetened condensed milk inside and it drops down to the bottom. I'm gonna be true to the Asian style coffee and go with evaporated milk. I pop some into a little jug. Now I'm not using the sweet condensed milk because I'm not a huge fan of sweet coffee, uh, but I'm just gonna pour this in the side nice and gently gonna break through the egg foam on the top. How delicious does that look? Now I'm just gonna pop a spoon through that foam there, give it a little stir through. Trust me, if you haven't had egg coffee before, mm, it is so good. For some reason, it reminds me of Christmas. Now you do have to be careful. I'll talk in a moment about eggs and egg yolks, uh, using them raw in cooking, but let's give this a try. Mm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That is so, so delicious. 
it really does remind me a little bit of Christmas. Uh, we make a, an eggnog coffee, which is not that dissimilar. If you haven't tried Vietnamese coffee before, traditionally it would be black. I like it with the creamy richness of the flavor of uh, the condensed milk in there. So maybe give my version a try if you prefer your coffee this way. Let's have a little talk about eggs and uh, hygiene with eggs. Obviously, in some countries, you can't use raw eggs in cooking and people would be concerned about it. Now, I had thought about this. Not everybody has these um, Vietnamese brewers either, but if you want to use a regular brewed coffee, and if you damp the coffee down first so you get that rich flavor, the intense flavor from your coffee, uh, you could certainly use almost any brewed coffee to make this style. Another thing you could do, <laughs> if you have access to uh, eggnog, which is sold in many countries, you could buy some regular eggnog and whisk it up just to get some air into it and pour it on the top. And that will give you a similar taste experience to the Vietnamese coffee. But in the meantime, if you haven't tried this before, I hope you'll give it a go. This is just so delicious. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy it. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Be good.